destination, mid-tier. So now you know that getting powerful ships and outfitting them with the best gear with the loadouts you need to get the job done is the way to go in this game. What if I told you that there is a way to take some gear and make them even better? Well actually I'm not the one who's going to tell you that, she is. First let's review what Akashi's all about since it's been a while since we've covered her. Akashi is a repair ship or AR. She is the only ship capable of equipping ship repair facilities aka cranes. A four-slot Akashi fully equipped with cranes will be able to passively repair an entire fleet she is the flagship of. Keep in mind that one Akashi comes with one crane stock and another after remodel, so you will need a dupe Akashi to get enough cranes to fully equip one with four cranes. Passive repairs can only be applied to ships at damage states shower hot or better regardless of ship type. So if you have any ships that are chwo hot or worse, you will have no choice but use the repair docks instead. Sounds very useful already right? Now on to the main topic of this video. Once you obtain and add Akashi to your fleet you will unlock Akashi's improvement arsenal, a vast and seemingly bottomless pit of a game mechanic will stand before you. Akashi's improvement arsenal is where you will go to upgrade your gear. Provided you have placed Akashi as the flagship of Fleet 1, you can enter this menu either from the home port screen where an extra button will slide out after mousing over the factory button, or from clicking the crane at the bottom left corner of the screen. Once in you will be met with three pieces of gear to upgrade. This will change depending on the second ship in Fleet 1 or helper ship and the day of the week. Certain pieces of gear are upgradable on certain days of the week with different helper ships. You will spend resources, dev mats, and screws to attempt an upgrade. The higher up you attempt upgrades the higher the failure chance starting at around plus 6. The success chance is affected by Akashi's level so level her as much as you can to improve your chances. However, there is another thing you can do to mitigate this. Guaranteed upgrades can be done by spending more dev mats and screws. You will want to do these towards the end of the upgrade path of one piece of gear, around plus 7 and higher where the failure chances become rather high. With a recent update there was a change made to the UI in the arsenal menu. Now normal upgrades, upgrades that only require Akashi will be highlighted with a light blue outline. Special upgrades, ones which are specific to the current helper ship will be highlighted with a light green outline with a tag noting that it is a special upgrade. It's very difficult to keep track of what gear is upgradable when and with who. Thankfully there are many resources you can use to help you figure this out. First let's take a look at KC3. In the strategy room under equipment, she has her own tab. Click it to view the long list of gear upgradable on any day of the week. It is kept up to date with the helper ship you will need for the day, the resource, dev mat, and screw cost and any other gear consumed for the upgrade or conversion. It will also have the amount of screw and dev mats spent on guaranteed upgrades. Another way is to look for the specific piece of gear in the equipment list tab in the strat room and clicking on the day of the week you want to check, provided it is upgradable. There are other resources such as checking the wiki page of the specific equipment to see when it is upgradable and with which helper, or using the simplified Akashi list which gathers all upgradable and unupgradable equipment, the helper, and day of the week, and the stat changes per upgrade. Do note that the later is in Japanese. Now to address the elephant in the room, screws. We've mentioned this item a few times before but never truly covered how they can be obtained. The main reliable method is through quests, mainly dailies, and weeklies. The screw income is around 1 or 2 from these quests but these will stack up very quickly as you keep at it. In fact start earning them before you get Akashi and unlock the improvement arsenal. However there is one daily that can be exploited for a net positive of 1 screw for minimal cost. The daily upgrade quest rewards a screw for completing an upgrade. This would usually be no more than a 1 screw refund for upgrades that cost 1 or more screws. But if you set Naganami as your helper ship and are in possession of rice balls or an ajiri, 
you can have Akashi upgrade them. Rice balls cost very little resources and zero screws. Thus resulting in a net positive of one screw for little negative impact to your resource reserves. Hopefully this has provided you with enough information to help you get started with Akashi. Keep in mind that with every significant update we get more equipment that is added to the list of upgradable gear and sometimes new conversions that can be done to get brand new and more powerful gear at the cost of certain items. In the next video we will finally be covering installation type abyssals and how to fight them. I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.